Hi, Gras. So, for our topic for today is about addition and subtraction of radicals. Radicals are called like radicals when they have the same index and the same radicand. Addition and subtraction of like radicals. For example, a square root of x plus b square root of x is equal to the sum of a and b square root of x. And a square root of x minus b square root of x is equal to the difference of a and b square root of x. For example, perform each indicated operation. Number 1, we have 4x square root of y plus 6x square root of y. So what we're going to do is to add the two uh, radicals. So they have the same index, which is 2. All right, so just add first 4x plus 6x. They have the same coefficient and the same numerical coefficient. And then just write square root of y. Just write square root of y because they have the same index 2 and they have the same radicand y. So we have here 4x plus 6x. 4x plus 6x is equal to 10x. Bring down square root of y. So that is the final answer. For number 2, we have 5 square root of ab plus 6 cube root of ab minus 2 cube root of ab minus 3 square root of ab. Now, what we're going to do is to combine like terms. So, we have, um, we need to combine the same index and the same radicand. So, we have here the same index and same radicand. We have the 5 square root of AB minus 3 square root of AB. And then add 6 cube root of AB is the same with, or the same index and same radicand with 2 cube root of AB. So, we have here 5 square root of AB minus 3 square root of AB plus 6 cube root of AB minus 2 cube root of AB. Alright? So, now, let us subtract 5 and 3. So, 5 minus 3 is 2. They have the same index, which is 2, and they have the same radicand AB. So, just write square root of AB. Next, plus, let's, ha let's subtract 6 and 2. So, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, they have, again, the same index and the same radicand. So, copy... Uh, the index 3, so we have a cube root of AB. So that is the final answer. 2 square root of AB plus 4 cube root of AB. For number 3, so we have 7 square root of 2 plus 3 square root of 2 plus square root of 2. Again, so they have the same index and the same radicand. So, combined like terms, since they have the same index and same radicand, we just add their coefficient. So, automatically, in the square root of 2, we have 1. 1 coefficient. Alright? So, 7 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 11. Then copy square root of 2. So that is the final answer. Okay, for number 4, we have 4 square root of 27 plus 5 square root of 12. Okay, if you have noticed, they don't have the same radicand, but they have the same index. Alright, so don't, but don't worry. Okay, what we're going to do is to find for a factors or what are the factors of 27 and the factors of 12 okay so we have 4 so square root of what are the factors of 27 that the the 
1 factor is a perfect square. So we have 9 times 3. Okay? So 9 times 3 is 27. Then the square root of 9 is 3. So we have to multiply 4 times 3. And then the square root of 3. Alright? On our on the right side, so plus 5 square root of 12. Again, find the factors of 12, which the first or the one of uh, one number is a perfect square. So we have 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Then the square root of 4 is 2. Okay? So 2 times 5, so we have to multiply 2 and 5, so 2 times 5 is 10, and then we have square root of 3. So now, we come up with this, so 12 square root of 3 plus 10 square root of 3. Now, they have the same index and same radicand. Okay, so just add their coefficient, so 12 plus 10, 12 plus 10 is 22, and then just copy square root of 3. For the next number, we have square root of 20 plus square root of 45. Okay, so they have the same index, but they don't have the same radicand. Again, we need to look for the factors of 20 and the factors of 40, which is the first number, is a perfect square. Alright? So, for, this, for the factors of 20, so we have 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. And then, the square root of 4 is 2. So, we just write 2 here. And then, the square root of 5. Plus, what are the factors of 45? So, the factors of 45 is 9 and 5. Because 9 is a perfect square and 5 is not a perfect square. Alright? So, square root of 9 is 3. Just copy square root of 5. Next, add the same, oh, add the numerical coefficient, which is 2 plus 3. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. And just copy square root of 5. They have the same index now and the same radicand. So, our answer is 5 square root of 5. Next, so we have 10 plus square root of 5. Since 10 has no radicals, and 10 and square root of 5 don't have the same index and same radicand, so the answer is as is. So we have 10 plus square root of 5. Lastly, so we have square root of 12 plus square root of 27 minus square root of 48. Alright, so they have the same index but they don't have the same radicand. Okay, for them to have the same radicand, let's have their factors. So the factors of 12 is 4 and 3. So we have here square root of 4 and 3 plus the factors of 27 is 9 and 3. So we have here the square root of 9 times 3 minus, so what are the factors of 48? So we have 16 times 3. So we have here square root of 16 and 3. Okay? The square root of 4 is 2. So we have 2 square root of 3 plus the square root of 9 is 3. So 3 square root of 3 minus the square root of 16 is 4. So we have here 4 square root of 3. Next, combine similar terms again. So they have now the same index and they have the same radicand. So just write square root of 3. Then 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. So our answer here is 1 square root of 3, oh, we, don't, uh, we don't write 1, so we have here square root of 3.